So we welcome uh, Black Onyx, we welcome Robert Babitz, we welcome also Julian Wolf. <laughs> Obviously, thanks for accepting our invite. We welcome you here. Hope everyone is feeling good. First Thank you for getting us. Thanks for the invite, Kenneth. <laughs> So, um, we start with, with Robert, obviously. Mm -hmm. First of all, Robert, a small introduction of where were you born, how long have you been into the music, mm -hmm. and who were your first inspirations? Okay, um, very easy. Um, born in Poland and uh, moved to Germany when I was five. Okay. And I started making music around 1990. 28 years ago, right. <laughs> um, it was uh, during, at that time, uh, techno started in, in Germany mm. and I was um, at the high school and um, when I first heard this kind of music, I thought, um, because I was a science fiction fan and I thought this is um, music coming from space, this is alien music. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and um it it kept me very emotional and i wanted to do this kind of music obviously we're lucky living in germany so yeah, yeah. i was maybe on the on the right <laughs> place exactly, at the right time exactly, exactly. <laughs> um who were your first inspirations uh, first artists you started listening to um and at that time yeah it was it was right after asset house was going down and but I was uh, inspired by um, Acid House because my first own music was um, Acid Music so uh, my artist name was Rob Acid at that time um, and people like Sven Veit, uh he was playing my stuff a lot uh, and I was going to Frankfurt so you started releasing immediately then yeah yeah okay yeah yeah it was uh, how old were you <coughs> first release uh, um, I think like 18 or something all right and i'm 17 18 around there yeah. it, it, uh, <laughs> the thing is um I, I never planned to be a musician or uh, doing this it was uh, more often um you enjoyed the thing and you wanted I, to do it yeah i was playing around with machines mm -hmm. that i uh, it was not mine machines oh, okay. i i uh, somebody um, a friend of mine borrowed me some equipment and I was playing around and um, just had fun. I had no idea how this thing worked at all, really. Re no idea, but I had fun and recorded some, some tracks on a cassette. And I saw um, at an advertising in a music magazine uh, searching new artists for electronic techno music, whatever. And I sent the, ca the original cassette where I recorded my music to them. So we can confirm that you were in the right place at the right yeah. moment. <laughs> and, 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 and like a few days later, I got a phone call that, hey, this is amazing. We want to release this. Please send us the master. And I told them, hey, you have the master already. It's, <laughs> it's the cassette. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they pressed my, my first uh, record from this cassette. Good. Uh, Julian. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Where were you born? How long have you been in the music? And um, uh, your style of music in general. Okay. Uh, I was born in East Germany, mm -hmm. in Thuringia, which is in the middle of Germany. Um, I started DJing in 2008 uh, when I was studying. Um, and I came to DJing because I was at the radio at that time and oh, yeah. um, making a documentation about DJing oh, and yeah. that way I got to know a lot of DJs and yeah played vinyl in many clubs in Germany and then yeah when I moved to Malta now I'm getting my I got my own studio I got a few releases now on uh, manual music maybe you know Paul Hasendonk from Netherlands mm -hmm. and yeah that I'm affects. yeah and well. We were speaking of her, we will, we will set a date, obviously, for sure, and yeah. <laughs> we'll get to know you better. Okay, okay, so I keep on making music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Dennis, welcome back. Hello, Kenneth, it's nice to be here. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. A little bit all, sick, but... First of all, thanks for the special show, eh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, uh, yes, it is a very special show. Because it is, uh, it is. We in, have in, in all in all the radio shows uh, I know here in Malta, I don't think this is, this this ever happened before. To be honest, that's it. That's it. Dennis, I know that you've been very busy in the studio as well. 
Uh, how is it going? Always. Um, it's going well. I mean, there is always uh, room to improve. I mean, thank God now I met like Robert Babich. You know, our our uh, relationship started. You know, I'm a big fan of his first of all, and um, uh, throughout the last years I've been following his his work, his events, and stuff like that. And when I first uh, read that he's moving to Malta, I said yes. Why not so uh, contact him to see to see. It turned out to be that he's a very nice guy, yeah, exactly, kind. Exactly. He, he's yeah. always willing to help others, you know, that's very, very inspiring as well. Um, uh, and of course, it is an honor and a privilege, you know, to, to be close to people like, like him. Um, uh, regards the studio, I'm working very hard every day, at least two or three hours, you know. When I'm off, well, I'm not off, you know, but <laughs> when, I, when I am, I'm, I, I, I create a lot of... Uh, space and time for music you know I can I can sit nine ten hours inside the studio and most of the time right now I am uh, finishing it off so it's, it's taking me one day to finish a track you know I might get back to it um, uh, two three days later with, with some fresh ears and to have a listen again to see what I correct some stuff and well it's going well it's going well. any okay. particular labels my first release, um, which came out three weeks ago, Dark Force, it's with um, Three Hands Records. It's an Italian record label. They're doing exceptional stuff, you know, like artists like Tale of Us, they love playing um, a lot of music from, from that record label. And one of the guys there is uh, Ricky Capelli. Um, uh, yes, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor for me to have my first um, release out, you know, it's going well. And. Uh, just buy the track. <laughs> <laughs> we will also be including one of your tracks later on in the show, obviously. Um, regarding inmates, are there any projects in the pipeline? Yes, there are. Um, uh, right now I am in this phase, you know, sometimes can you need to distance yourself a little bit from the from the scene, you know, to reassess um, uh, some, some things that are happening around, you know. Things got a little bit more complicated um, in regards to um, uh, us concluding dates, you know. Mm. It got a little bit complicated, subjects that I don't want to speak um, uh, right here, right now, you know. Um, um, <laughs> it, it can be a little bit funny as well, you know. <laughs> but um, uh, the plan is there, of course. Um, uh, we intend to stay in the scene for many years, so... It's also good sometimes. I have no doubt to about it, knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt. <laughs> it is it is good sometimes to distance yourself a little bit as well, exactly, so you yes, gain yes. that interest uh, and hunger again. From Agreed. we can uh, we can mention uh, festivals. That do In fact, you never were that particular promotion that throws no, parties. Exactly, you exactly. Know? It may happen once every while, exactly. you know, approximately it was happening like every three or four yeah, months. Exactly. Now we haven't done it for six months, but the clock is ticking. <laughs> <laughs> and when you say it, I'm afraid. I always tell you this. <laughs> I get goosebumps. <laughs> That's good. We need more people like you. <laughs> so back to Robert. Robert, yes. I know that you vary in different styles. Maybe you can tell us which particular styles you play and maybe also to which particular styles you listen to when, yeah. when you're alone. <clears throat> like um, I, I get this uh, kind of question quite often, what kind of styles you play? And um, um, I, I started to say, or my, my typical answer right now is uh, I play Babbage style. <laughs> Uh, but this Babbage style means that um, it's it's 28 years of electronic dance music. So um, I was doing uh, acid music, I was doing house music, progressive music, um, ambient music, experimental music, uh, everything that makes fun. <laughs> so that's that's an important thing you mentioned because I, I, I would like to ask you this question. In fact, mm -hmm. how do you manage to 28 years experience how do you manage to keep up to date with the with the improvements with the with change in styles but still you keep your your, your personal touch mm. the, music. the thing is um but for example the techno mm -hmm. we used to listen to in the ni 90s it's not the techno of today you know right yeah. how do you manage to keep up to date one with the styles of the music and even maybe with the technology and equipment um I'm very, very close to technology and equipment because um, I'm also working with a lot of developer with companies. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a sound designer for Native Instruments. Uh, I was a sound designer for Apple. Um, 
uh, I'm and uh, the thing is how I know what's going on on the market is because I'm a mastering engineer I have a mastering studio so I have a lot of clients from all different styles and um, it's it's a typical thing when you when I get some tracks that sound the same I know ah there's a, a new hit coming because everybody is copying mm. this mm. <laughs> so uh, I, I know what's going on but uh, personally I'm not I'm because I'm not a DJ I'm not listening too much to what other people are doing no. because um, uh, the music for me is is like this the soundtrack of my life so I'm, I'm focusing on, on on this way more and the interesting thing in fact um, now you're saying that uh, you're a graphic designer um, interesting thing in your career is that you you make the videos for your tracks in fact Maybe yeah you can speak a little bit yeah <clears throat> most of the of the music videos were made by me it just because um, I always had my camera with me and just filming you know when when you are in this lucky position you, and uh, you can travel all around the planet mm -hmm. and see all these places around the world it would be crazy not to make pictures and film <laughs> what's going on around you and then uh, just uh, making videos with this um, I, I like to have videos that are real it's like real people real scenes it's it's not something that is made up it's like things that happen to me and and um, this is something um, uh, for me this this barbage style thing is is uh, I, I like when music is is emotional mm. in all kinds of ways Amazing. so um, yeah, I, I just collecting all these emotions and then transform them to music and and video. <laughs> video. <laughs> Robert, um, we were speaking of where you have thousands of music productions. Maybe we can also speak about uh, different places you played in your career. Mm. Uh, and I, I, yeah, it's it's Adventure. really like um, um, even here in 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 Malta. I think my I'm not really sure, but I think my first uh gig I had in 1995 as Rob Asset back in Malta way back. when when Malta was very different <laughs> <laughs> way back. very very different um uh, I was playing all, like all the continents all the the whole world when um, I mean everywhere and nice. some Imagine. of the of the highlights just recently were um like last year um, a burning man festival all right. Where um, I was having ten gigs in seven days, <laughs> um, or, um, or or this year I had a fantastic um, Australia tour, a really really good India tour. Mm. Um, yeah, all, all like Asia. Um, even I, I've been to many African countries. Uh, all South America, always super cool. Mm, that's a uh, yeah, North America. Um, the the planet is beautiful. <laughs> I think the question should be which places you did not you see. Didn't manage to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's easy. It's it's <laughs> it's North Korea and Iran. <laughs> so Robert. and and the moon, of course. <laughs> I'm not sure about it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you played that as well over there. Rob, maybe we we speak a bit about this track we are going to listen to now. It's Melancholy. Yeah. And before we mm -hmm. go and... Yeah, um, Melancholy is um, is released on my own label, uh, Barbage Style. Uh, it came out, good question, last year? I'm not sure. And yeah, it's it's... It's about this melancholic feeling that you get sometimes when a party is really beautiful and you want you you you, st you have this tears in your eyes because it's you so beautiful it. and you don't want to leave. It'll never end. Exactly. <laughs> so we we'll continue with the interview right after this track. I was saying that we listened to the acid side of Robert Barbis yes. with this track. Maybe some little information regarding this track. I know it's a remix. Um, <clears throat> this is a remix of a classic track, um, Appearance from Hard Floor. And mm. they asked me a few years back 
if I'm able to make a, a Babbage style remix out of this. Uh, yeah, and that's my version. Good. It's a good version. In fact. <laughs> Robert, for how long have you been in Malta? Um, we moved to Malta five months ago, five months. How do you see, how do you see the, the, the club scene and the music scene in general, in general and the one in Malta? I know it's not a long yeah. time you've been here, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I think you have to you know? ask me this, uh, this question next year again. <laughs> I know uh, you've already met a lot of artists. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I met a few, um, yeah, a few Malta people and, and I think what I really like is the, the Maltese people are super friendly, at least to me or to us. <laughs> Um, everything is is quite slow here in Malta. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> mela, mela, mela. Yeah, mela, mela. <laughs> mela. <laughs> uh, 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 everything is relaxed. Beside that, uh, uh, if you if you drive a car, <laughs> Maltese people get crazy after like five seconds. <laughs> But the rest is super nice. Um, and and club wise. Um, I think uh, electronic music is still super strong worldwide. Re uh, like it's 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 massive, and we have now this big superstars, and I don't know where it, it's it's going, but uh, it's it's so big. Um, and for the Maltese scene, I I, I don't know yet. Like uh, it will be interesting to to see how uh, how everything evolves. But I, I had, re like, in my memories, uh, the, the shows that I was playing here in Malta were always um, really wonderful. And how, how do you see the music in general? The, the, the electronic music, I mean. Um, um, I, I was taking myself a, li a little bit out of the, the whole music thing uh, scene because um, basically the, the last five months Uh, I was working only on my album and I'm, I, I try not to listen to any other music. All right. All right. I like I, I don't want to know what's going on because mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to be influenced or some mm -hmm. whatever because uh, uh, trends come and go and, and something that is very trendy and, and uh, hip right now will be the old sound of the next year. And my album will be released next year, so I don't want to know what's going on. <laughs> so, what will the album be including? How many tracks? Which um, label? The, what style? The the album is um, uh, it will be my fourth album for Systematic Recordings, the label of Mark Romboy. Um, uh, it's um, I'm I'm not sure yet uh, the 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 final. Uh, um, Uh, version. master version will be uh, my, my deadline is, is beginning of December um, I have some some tracks uh, with uh, friends together I have a, um, a track with uh, Guy Borato I have one uh, with Mark Romboy and I also have one track with John Dickweed on the album as well Good. Uh, and the rest is mine. Maybe uh, I, I will do one track with uh, Guy J because um, he helped me to to find a home here in Malta as well. And we are friends for a long time. So let's see something. And, and most of uh, yeah, it's my own music. When is the target date for for the album? Um, the target release date is is like uh, March 2019. Good. And yeah, we will play uh, a little bit, like, let's see something from that. Some oh. snippets. <laughs> snippets. <laughs> um, Robert, uh, your message to maybe new upcoming artists which are listening to this program, producers. To the producers, um, uh, try... Tr um, I, I can speak only of myself, is uh, that I... I I basically think uh, even after 28 years of producing I'm this advanced beginner and I will stay this for a long time because I want to learn I want to learn uh, and and make music and so please to to everyone who is deciding to go this route and making music 
um, you have to dedicate your life to this. So that means all or nothing or the rest or music stays a hobby. It can be a good hobby, super nice, but if you want to have a living out of music, you have to go all in, you have to do it. It's like all, you have to do it. <laughs> Good. I'd, I'd like to also thank you, Robert, for the competition which is running on our Facebook page. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, I will bring uh, some some vinyl from my own label, Babbage Style, to the winners. Thank you very much. In fact, I was going to shout in Maltese for the ones. Yeah, great. Obviously. And palace for fatta they are at their competition if all Facebook page tan at one clubbing. Grazie, Robert. Li yatatina tlet. Vinyls from label T. I hope we'll have a new album. Until that, we'll see you next week. Min fein fein tweet at Robert Babis with that. Robert, we're gonna play another one. Um, Utopia. Maybe yes. you can tell us something regarding this. Track. Um, yeah, this is uh, one track of the of the coming album, and it's it's uh, the album is also called Utopia. And uh, so yeah, it's the title track of the it's, album. It's kind of the title track. I, I'm like I said, uh, it's it's not really finished. Everything can change, but I I like I personally uh, uh, all the the music on this album is is produced in uh, Malta. So that's that's one of the first tracks I made on this island. Okay. So um, yeah, it's a, I, I I I found it's it's a different feeling. Like my music starts to change. It's interesting. So apart apart from from the album, do you have any other projects? Maybe remixes, co-productions with some. Um, no, I was trying to to keep my uh, all the Focus. remixes a little bit back. But uh, as soon as I finish the album, uh, I will do like um, a new Rob Acid stuff. Uh, um, there will be um, a new compilation on my uh, Babbage style label where it's the first time that I'm opening up my label for other artists and I also include some new Maltese people okay, on good. this uh, compilation as well um, yeah and there's so much coming <laughs> and also um, of course together with the the album release will be like an album world tour thing so yeah, exactly. I will be busy next year <laughs> <laughs> for sure so we'll listen uh, a small preview of this um, upcoming album right going out in March we said April coming here I come back. Exactly. So one of the tracks we will be finding in the forthcoming album, Babbitt's album. It's the title track of the album, in fact, Utopia, right? Right. Well, great track, eh? <laughs> For sure it will be a great album. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to <laughs> listen to all the tracks. In the album. Robert, obviously, time is up. Yes. Um, it was a really interesting show thanks for the music thanks for being here thank you Looking for inviting us to have you again maybe with a i'm coming set. back of course just write me and <laughs> Good. i'm i'm 10 minutes away <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's malta <laughs> And thank you to you as well, Juliana. We'll be meeting you on the 10th November. Yeah, I'm looking forward. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Thanks, Juliana. <laughs> and thanks also, obviously, to Black Onyx. Thank you as well, Kenneth. Obviamente, we're clubbing. Yeah, Jai, come here. Can I step to the J? Then we need to meet in the last one. Nice in quart for one stream. Pass all the for one. Just come to them. You can fit the podcast. You can make a list. And the links that diverse artists, the pages that artists, the Anna and Ekmana. Consistency one for Facebook. One clubbing. Just podomatic. Dot com. What I know, bullet in the lab. But one news. Simbat pain last round. Not still lay. One country. My Leslie glad we show Joe Bartolo. Before we close, um, something regarding your track now. Then. Um, uh, Dark Force, as I said earlier, it, it has been released three weeks ago um, with Three Hands Records. It has got the progressive uh, dub techno feel. Um, uh, I enjoyed doing it. It was purposely done as an intro track. Um, I will use it in one of my performances now in the next upcoming events. I look forward to see what the outcome will be of, uh, of, of this track. Of course, there are many, many tracks that, that will be following now. So I'm excited to that as well. So thanks once again to all of you. Have a weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend, you too. Thanks for having us, Kenneth. You're welcome. Elton, I'm going to go to the next one.
Esattamente, Pastor Dubai, non mi ha lasciato la sincronia del programma di Horwak. So, we will, we will be posting also the three winners on our Facebook page later on. Mm-hmm. Thanks once again, Robert. Ma non ho bit track da Black Onyx, da Dennis, che si Dark Force, ora è che ho fatto il bulletin della verità. Se il weekend è tagliato, grazie a tutti, poi tu la metti a